so one day a couple weeks ago Connor was in a hurry to get to our delivery um we had to stop and weigh so when you weigh if your weight's not right you have to slide your tandems and he has this tandem slide that he uses to put in whichever hole he needs to be in well in his in in his hurriness for lack of a better word he forgot to pull to get the uh, tandem stop out when he got through sliding his tandems and left it in the parking lot I guess somebody probably picked it up and they have a, they have a nice tandem slide stopper now um, so we're here at tractor supply um, in our hometown trying to find an alternative because those tandem slide stoppers are now like 50 bucks so we're trying to find an alternative here at the tractor supply and I'm gonna take y'all in and see what we find see you in a minute anything you can't find anywhere else you can find it here so I think he might have found an alternative so what'd you find there was a hitch pin for a tractor but it's grade 5 is that gonna break or bend? It shouldn't at all. That looks like it's a better use than the actual tandem slide. Pin. Yeah, I mean this is this will kind of fit in there, stay in there better. That other one will fall out when you have to shake. Yeah, it. I remember it shot across the damn parking lot one time. Yeah, sometimes you have to shake the truck a little bit to kind of bust the rails where they'll slide. This won't fall out. The main thing is to learn to remember to take the thing out right, so right. you don't lose it. <laughs> so what's that thing called again? It's a hitch pin. See? Hitch pin, grade five. Yeah. That's pretty good. So I wanted to take you guys on to the Amazon website to show you the difference in the prices of the tandem slide stops. As you can see here, the uh, single is like $40. I originally said in the beginning of the video that it was $50, but you can actually get it for $40, and you can get the double pack for $60. Then there's a cheaper version there with a double end on it for $20. We've had both of these products, and they both worked uh, well, um, but we found a, a, a better alternative. Um, here's the single one. It worked really well, but it was just short, and when you slide and jerk the trailer back and forth to uh, to break loose, it sometimes would come out. This one, the $20 one, um, with the double end, it basically always come out. It was a good product, just wasn't for us. And as you can see here, we went to Tractor Supply, got a hitch pin for $17.99. It was $19.43 tax, and it works really well, and we'll never have to worry about it coming out unless we pull it out. So there's a cheaper alternative out there. That's our truck, the red one right there on the end. We're getting four new tires. Get some tires. new shoes on it. <laughs> We're getting, hold on. <laughs> Oops, I had you zoomed in. Get some new shoes put on it. We're getting new shoes. Uh -huh. Gotta have shoes to make money. <laughs> one of ours has got a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, a piece of big piece of metal. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe they'll be done soon. Then we gotta go to Thermo King to try to get our APU fixed. Hey, y'all. So we get the Thermo King to get the truck. And what happened? Honey? The yard guy that moves the trucks around left the keys in it, ain't no telling how long, and left it turned on so it was dead. Then they brought a generator with a jump starter out here. The generator wouldn't crank. So we wound up, I had some jumper cables we hooked to the yard truck and got the APU cranked and now we're waiting on it to charge enough to crank the truck. So, so best we can tell is they got the uh, APU fixed. Which is a good thing. Yeah. So, at yeah. least it's, run, it's running. So, that'll keep the batteries charged for us. And it doesn't sound like it's... Um, still smells like rotten eggs. And it still stinks. <laughs> but that's to be expected, I guess. 
this diesel. But it doesn't. It doesn't sound like it's um, gonna yeah, explode. It's, <laughs> it's, it's purring like a kitten now, so that that's a plus. And we got new tires, and we're also still got a job. So. Yeah. <laughs> plus, right. that's a plus. <laughs> we're actually going to make some money today. <laughs> uh, well, that's the Thermo King update. Yeah, we don't have to leave till 12 today, but we're gonna let it charge for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna crank it. Then we can go to the yard and put all our stuff in there and get ready to ride. Trucking, it's there's always something. Always. <laughs> always. If you think you're gonna come to work and it's just gonna be, yay, it's not. Yep, it's not. <laughs> you just have to get used to always something. There's always a hurdle to jump somewhere. All right, well, we'll catch up with y'all later. H11. H11. So we're at the car parts place getting another bulb Advanced, for the trunk. Advanced Auto. Advanced Auto getting another bulb for the trunk. Well, hang on a minute. We just went to pick up our truck from being serviced and they left the key on so it was dead. So we had to jump it off and sit there and let the APU run for about 30 minutes to charge it enough to crank. I got it cranked, then turned the headlights on and one of the bulbs explode. So <laughs> now, now we're getting the bulb to go in. So anyway, like we were saying before, if you think it's gonna be easy, it's not. There's always a hurdle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get the bulb. Good thing is we hadn't started our clock yet. So we get all this behind us and then we'll start our clock and go for a ride. When That's why truck drivers like driving because that's usually the only time that you got it easy unless you're in traffic. Yep. <laughs> so we finally made it back to the yard. Now we're going to put the new bulb in. Oh, let me show you the new stickers. Burnt spot. Yep. Thirty-six dollars. Thirty-six dollars worth of that light. You really, just don't even. You can't even see. <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> projector lights are. Projector not. lights suck. Especially on these Kenworths. Get in the world living. Might as well turn your lights off. Might as well not even have them on. It's pretty simple. You just want to make sure you don't touch the glass. If you touch the glass, the oil on your fingers makes it, it makes it get a burn spot on it. thinking about going ahead and changing that up because these are the better grade bulbs yeah, and we can just save that up just in case we blow one. It's probably about the fifth set of bulbs we've done in two years. So we've got to keep it just still good. Yeah. Yeah.
headline should 